What is the story with that mystery fifth man, Paul Grice? He is listed all throughout the affidavits by the teenage daughter of the Twombleys who were arrested and charged with the murder. She says that Paul Grice was present for the planning. Paul Grice was allegedly there for the killings. But Paul Grice is nowhere to be seen and hasn't been arrested. Did that neighbor know him or know anything about him? He does. He knows him and he knows him well. He is actually uh, Paul Grice's landlord. He's his landlord, Ashley, uh, and he was his employer at one time. So he knows him well. Uh, we heard from several sources, and this is new, that Paul Grice was called in. Uh, he was actually put into custody at one point and questioned by the police, and then he was released. Why exactly he was released, we don't know. Apparently, they didn't have the evidence to keep him. Uh, and talking to that neighbor again and his landlord, uh, he says that Paul Grice is a nice man, and he thinks the people need to hold off on judgment right now. Uh, listen to what he said about that. Did you know Paul Grace? Uh, yeah, I know of him. Um, and uh, he has a young family, a very nice guy. Uh, he's the kind of guy to come up and shake your hand, tell you hi. And any time I've been around him, he's, he's just been out cleaning and working hard and taking care of cattle. And um, he seems to be a good guy. My understanding is that he was taken in and questioned. And apparently, the OSBI and FBI didn't think it warranted arresting him. So I guess he. Uh, He's not in custody, so I have no reason to believe that he had anything to do with it. Yeah, a lot of people are questioning it just because he's named in the reports and sure. wondering why he's the one who wasn't arrested. Yeah, and I couldn't tell you. I just, I, I know he's a good man from what I know of him. And again, we've learned from several sources, and this is new, uh, that Paul Grice was taken into custody uh, and questioned and then released. Uh, so apparently, whatever the daughter of one of the suspects said about him being involved, they, they just weren't able to find the evidence of at this point. Uh, so he is out. He's, he's in the community right now. And a lot of people are standing by him, Ashley. Wow. Well, listen, you can be in conversations about something, but in order to be a conspirator, you have to act in furtherance. And maybe that's when he, if the teenager's telling the truth in the affidavits, uh, maybe that's when he said, you know what, I'm out of here. And the reports got back to her. Differently, but maybe he's got an alibi. Who knows? Quick question about the next actions in this case. When are all four back in court? What do we see next? Okay, so May 15th, 9 a.m., they're going to be back in court. They are all in the process of getting new lawyers. Uh, Tiffany Adams, uh, Tad Cullum, Cole Twombly say they are all going to get private attorneys. Uh, Cora Twombly was the only one at the hearing who said she was going to want a public defender, which is kind of interesting considering uh, Cole Twombly is getting a private attorney. But again, let's not forget, some of these folks have a lot of money, especially Tiffany Adams and Tad Cullum. Uh, they've got the resources to pretty much get whatever lawyer they want, from what we're told. They've own, they own thousands of acres of land. Tad Cullum in particular, Ashley, I'm hearing over and over again, is particularly wealthy. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what legal teams show up, uh, because they didn't have lawyers at the first hearing. Um, and so who's going who's gonna to be the lawyer come May 15th? That's going to be really interesting because they've got the money. Yeah, and whether their defense is going to be he did it, she did it, she did it, he did it. That's always fascinating. Yes, are too. they going to turn uh, on Anson. each other? Yeah, that's such a good point. Right, yeah. right. Mm, that's usually what happens in these cases. So, um, so much to look at. Thank you, Brian. Such incredible work down there um, this week. I so appreciate it. Thank you so much, Brian Enton, doing the work for us tonight. Take Thanks, care. Ash. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.